Welcome, little one. We've waited so long and no time at all for you. And you, in turn, are a combination of paradoxes, like your beginnings. I was afraid before I met you that no dog could ever find a space in my heart after Loki and all our adventures. But moments after we met, I knew it would be no trouble at all for you. Nothing ever is. Oh, but what adventures we had in store from those first weeks squeezed into a tiny space, you and Loki and I, ready to hit the road, see the world, and delight in coming to know one another. delight we did, wondering at golden mornings, and thunder rippling overhead, and unexpected flurries of fluffy hail. And walking into a red stained sky. I knew you and Loki needed time and space. He has never been one for puppies. But you won him over and it took days rather than weeks. And I found myself transfixed by watching you play. You were a perfect puppy, a unicorn puppy. And I so desperately wanted to cherish every tiny little thing. We explored. You strode bravely anywhere and everywhere. You were and are best friends with everyone and every dog in the entire world. We explored, leaving our cozy house and taking to the road and marveling again at reflections in lakes and sunsets and carrots. Well, maybe not to carrots. crossed boardwalks and climbed waterfalls, found snow-capped mountains painted pink and violet and orange. We played by the waves and hiked through gorges. these pieces of my journey like a greedy dragon because I knew that too soon it would be over and you would be grown and we would be home or someplace like it and these memories would fade away such a tiny chapter of our story all things considered and you grew and grew and grew as summer crept in we found ourselves confined to this place so we explored learnt to swim found the hidden trails and secret places in the woods close by. We learned to run, to pose and to pose and to pose, to bounce and to play, until summer called us away again. I with a mission to find a place to call home, you along for the ride. And as always, you took it in your stride, friend to all, despite them calling you a giant or a giraffe or a greyhound. And by now, you are as much my shadow as Loki, and you find ways to make me laugh every single day. We crisscrossed Slovenia, finding mountains, finding lakes, jumping for joy, and celebrating all of it. You even got better at eating carrots, sort of. 
We found old friends and met new ones. We swam, hiked, canoed, explored and wondered, lived and laughed and loved, and climbed until our legs burnt for views of valleys full of clouds. Occasionally, I fell apart, and there you were to pick me up again. To cuddle in close and say, are you alright? You knew better than I did when I wasn't. You melt when people smile at you, and you still believe that every stranger is a friend. They just don't know it yet. My friends throw dinner parties for you, laugh with you, and strangers across the world adore you, my leafy boy, my creeping creeper. And I'm so excited to see where our journey takes us next. You are serious and silly, bouncy and brave, thinking big thoughts and voicing your displeasure. You are particular and easygoing, a ball of muscle and energy, a tornado. You are a constant question, can we play? You are a moment of calm and strange and wonderful and sweet and naughty. You are my laughter and my light. So stay as you are, my silly, bouncy, lovely puppy. Stay uniquely, wonderfully, perfectly you.